What you guys got another video here for you. Why is my monitor stuck at 60 hertz? Especially if you've got a high refresh monitor like this one, which is 175 hertz, or you may have 144 hertz, or even higher. Why are they stuck at 60 hertz? There's quite a few reasons why this can happen, and it's quite a common problem, and we're going to be showing you how to resolve this today. It's pretty straightforward to fix, and most of the time, it's just using a bit of common sense. Now, it doesn't really matter what brand of monitor you've got, as long as you've got a higher refresh rate monitor and you're stuck with either a grayed out on 60 hertz and you can't change it, then this video is for you. If you come into your display settings, right click on your desktop here, and you come inside advanced display, you'll see there is choose a refresh rate right here. Now, my refresh rate will go up to 175 hertz. And uh, yours may be different. Yours might be a 144 hertz monitor or even higher. So bear that in mind. If it doesn't say any of those there and you're only getting displays for 60 hertz, then there's a reason for it. You've either got no graphics driver installed on your system or the cable is wrong or you're using the wrong port on the back of the monitor and the port that you've plugged it into doesn't support that high refresh rate. And uh, this happens quite a bit. You can see here I'm using a display port right here. And it's important that you use the correct port with the correct cable. And you should then be able to get the correct uh, refresh rate right here. It's also important that you have the latest drivers. Now, if you go to the manufacturer's website, uh, you can also check up your monitor to see whether it is actually capable of reaching those high refresh rates. And going on the website here, it will tell you exactly what your monitor is, and it will tell you exactly what the refresh rate is for that particular monitor. Now, one of the big problems is that people may have had an old monitor, and they've been using that monitor for years, and they've been using the HDMI cable for that monitor. And then, of course, they've gone purchase a brand new monitor, or they've got a, a used monitor, which they've got off of eBay, and now what they're doing is plugging in that old cable and it's not compatible. It's not good enough for that monitor to reach those uh, refresh rates. It's also important that you download any software for that particular monitor that you've got, especially some of these higher end monitors. You definitely want to be downloading the actual command center like this one here or drivers or any sort of firmware updates that you might need to do for that particular monitor because it could be a known bug. So make sure you go to the manufacturer's website of that monitor and download all of the correct software and you should be OK. Now, most of the time, most monitors are plug in and play where you just plug the monitor in uh, to the computer in the correct port of the graphics card and of the monitor. And you should then get a display. But always check the manufacturer's website for the specifications and it will tell you what ports support what speeds. You can see here on this one. 1920 by 1080 at 165 hertz is on the DisplayPort 1.2 version. On the HDMI 2.0 at 1920 by 1080, you're only going to get 60 hertz refresh rate. So make sure you're using uh, the correct cable and the correct port. This is the biggest problem people use an old cable that they have lying around, or they're using the wrong port on the back of the monitor. Also make sure you've got your graphics drivers installed and updated, and you can also check the resolution right here to make sure you've got the correct uh, refresh rate set up. Also check the monitor's menu system. Inside here, there might be a setting in here that is forcing you to be at 60 hertz, and you want to make sure that you're getting the maximum settings inside your menu if it has one just like this. Also on the back of the monitor, they're all different DP ports, and HDMI ports, and you'll have DVI ports and other ports like this. Just make sure you're using the correct port and you're using the correct cable. This is, like I've said, the most biggest problem that people use is using the wrong port. And sometimes when they're buying a monitor, they'll go on eBay and buy a second hand monitor, and someone's put 144 hertz gaming monitor, and it might already be a number of years old, and you're forced to use a different connector other than the HDMI port on that back of that monitor. If you plug the HDMI cable in, you're not going to get uh, the 144 hertz that that monitor is saying that you can 
uh, reach. If you look at this little chart here, this will give you a full breakdown of the resolution and the cable, a HDMI or DP cable, which is your DisplayPort cable, and what version it is and what sort of hertz you can reach with that chart. So take a look at that chart. Also, I'll leave a link for this website here, which will break it down and show you exactly what these connectors are and what you can expect to get from them in the sort of refresh or resolution uh, standards for these particular cables and ports. If you're buying a used monitor, make sure that you've got the right cable and you're plugging the cable in the correct port, otherwise it's not going to work correctly. And that's pretty much it. If you follow this guide, you should be pretty much up and running with the correct refresh rate or hertz on your monitor. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.